Hi, I'm Dave Isaacs from Dave Isaacs Guitar Studio on Music Row in Nashville, and I'm here to demonstrate the basics of slide guitar. This will apply to an acoustic guitar or an electric guitar. I happen to be using an acoustic today. First thing that you want to understand is that slide guitar, as a rule, does require your action, the height of the strings, to be a little bit higher than you might for standard playing. Now, some people are very comfortable having the guitar set up both ways. Some people like to have a guitar with the strings a little bit higher exclusively for slide. That's my preference, although this guitar I will use for both. Slides come in a variety of styles. This one happens to be made of glass. There are also metal slides and there are also ceramic slides. They come in different thicknesses. I like to have a fair amount of thickness because it puts a little more pressure on the strings. Here's the basic right hand technique. I'm essentially just touching as many strings as I can and then whichever string I want I'm going to pluck with a single finger and that stops the other strings that I don't want to hear from sounding. I might use the same finger for everything. Although I tend to use a combination since everything's sitting there anyhow, so sometimes it's my thumb. Sometimes the index, sometimes the middle, and most often a combination of the three. But really the key thing to understand, if you're a standard player, then you're accustomed to placing your fingers behind the frets, not directly over them. But when you're playing slide, you want that slide to be directly over the fret. Because now the slide itself is the thing that stops the string. The other thing to consider is that as you move that slide along the strings, it makes a sound on its own. And that's generally something we want to avoid unless it's an effect. So many slide players will use the right hand to pluck Instead of picking with a flat pick, they'll use all their fingers. And it's nice because it allows you to hit all these in between notes. It's a very fluid sound. People started using slide in the beginning because it sort of imitated the sound of the human voice. Since the voice can do that, this allows the guitar to do that. This allows the guitar to do that. Then as you become more accomplished, you find the technique that works for you. Whether you do use a flat pick and let the muting happen all with this hand, or whether you use the right hand to mute the strings. But the basic idea is just not to push too hard, to aim for the fret wire and just allow the slide to do the work is leaning on the strings creating a little bit of pressure you don't have to push down or else that doesn't sound good so just float I'm Dave Isaacs from Dave Isaacs Guitar Studio on Music Row in Nashville and this has been a quick slide guitar tutorial